name is Benton Crane, and I play keys and vocals with Ice Station Zebra. <laughs> I think being in a band with some of your best friends is great and also uh, can be tough. Um, mostly great because to me what, what makes playing music with other people, especially improvising with other people, um, what makes that so awesome is, is the relationship that you share with that other person and being able to read what they're going to do and, and you know following them and, and trusting them to lead or trusting them to back you up. Um, that, that definitely, uh, it, it helps to have a solid relationship with that person. But when it comes to some of the nitty gritty like band logistic stuff, it can definitely make that a little bit more difficult because I mean some of it can be frustrating and it can definitely kind of um, add tension to relationships that wouldn't otherwise be there. How would I describe the sound of the band, uh, especially in the early stages when we were playing a lot in like places like Tuscaloosa for some fraternity parties and stuff, which are always a blast. Um, well, we brought a lot of like uh, different influences in. All of us, you know, liked some different stuff and grew up with different things. So, you know, we'd cover some Smashing Pumpkins, Widespread Panic, everything in between. Do some Fish. We had originals that you know, a couple of us had brought into the band. Um, yeah. So it was. It had some post grunge, like some '90s edge. It had a classic rock vibe, very uh, and some a lot of improvisation and jam style stuff, a little bit of jazz, so, you know, it was an eclectic mix, it was cool, it's a cool sound I think we crafted there early. So with music, there's always going to be disagreements. Uh, um, I think the old saying is, uh, a band is the family you choose, and they say family, not friends, because families are dysfunctional, and there's always some dysfunction going on. Uh, so, you know, whether it be getting frustrated with somebody's apparent amount of practice, getting frustrated uh, you know, coming even towards me for, you know, we let Benton carry the weight for most of the band in terms of booking and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm sure he got frustrated with some of that stuff. Uh, there were writing frustrations. You know, there's always a lot of push and pull with this sort of thing. Um, I think some of the biggest frustrations were always about drummers. Um, that's, you know, we've been through several drummers as a band and, uh, it's just frustrating to have to, to re-educate somebody on what a whole band is about. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, probably the most frustrating part, but other than that, it's, you know, I kind of have a laid-back approach to this band. I'm, I get told where to go, and that's it. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, we've kind of taken the last few months to breathe a little bit. Um, a much-needed break. Um, we all got a bit burned out, but We've reconvened and we're working on recording some new stuff. We're working on uh, some jazz hop songs. Um, we're recording that as well as some other songs. Um, and we're, you know, we're gonna look at playing some song or playing some shows here and there um, as it pleases us. And you know, we're looking forward to it. Maybe one day we'll hit the road again, but we'll see.